Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. I botched that first video, no sound. Um, let me just try this again real quick. A couple of things to note. Big gap opening gold. Uh, gap to 62, traded up to 90. This is in the futures. Um, this is a huge move. Um, could be a blow off top, but we don't want to. Sh we don't want to be shorting gold. Just want to mention that risk on is still in play. We are short risk here from Friday. Thirty five was the close. Um, Sixteen is the low in ES. We're still short risk, leaving ourselves trading room. You saw on Friday we had a forty handle move higher. The key now in S and P's the high and the low. Uh, from the weekly bars. So course short is the way. An hourly close above 06 and three quarters, which was the low on Friday, gives you strength or gives you conviction to be more short. A four hourly close gives you more conviction. A daily close gives you a strong conviction on the short side. We've been blathering on uh, about risk and what's happening out there. We're trying to look both ways on this uh, whole Iran thing, um, but it does look like uh, even though Iran, I would say, it doesn't have the strongest hand to play, they do have um, a certain sort of kamikaze nature to, um, to their mentality. And now we're, of course, also dealing with... Um, on the US side, I would consider someone who is emotionally uh, slightly unhinged uh, for all of his faults and all of his, all the positives that you can apply to the President of the United States. Uh, certainly, I think uh, most of us can agree that he is emotionally not the most sound uh, individual. So that's not a great, um, this is not a great general to be uh, stacking your troops behind. So the anxiety I think that's going to be created by this uh, will be more powerful than the lack of firepower I see coming out of Iran. So we're still short risk, uh, long and the short of it, we're still short risk. We'll be trading S&Ps from the short side. Today we've got Euro uh, Services PMI, this will be important. Uh, the weekly bar in Euro there, as you can see, was relatively negative. The daily bar was relatively positive. Uh, we're right in the middle of things here. If we get a big strong beat on the ISMs, we will buy some euros. Uh, but we're cautious because there will be euro yen resistance at 121 the figure. Uh, and we're just cautious in general because the consensus in Europe is, the consensus in the world is to be short dollars and long euros. So today is the day with full liquidity. This either has to happen or start happening or else um, a lot of the early birds who put this position on uh, pre-Christmas, like we talked about down there at uh, 11080, uh, will start having to take some pain. We're square at the moment now. Um, we're going to be flexible and trade these ISMs as we see them. So that's uh, something to think about. Aussie, uh, we like this lower. A lot of reasons. Obviously, uh, the country is uh, has these horrible, tragic uh, fires that will not help. Um, plus, it's just a, a risk proxy. Uh, this encompasses both problems with China and problems in the Middle East. Aussie or Aussie yen looks to be your best risk risk proxies. Today, we would recommend just selling high ones uh, if we get a chance. We're already 15 points higher here from the open at 47. Um, sort of between 47 and 67 seems like a sensible short in Aussie. Dollar yen, the whole world has bought downside. This is usually an indication that we may have put in some sort of bottom or volatility now is going to go lower. Um, is dollar yen even a proxy for risk anymore? That's not clear to me. We will not chase dollar yen on the downside any longer. Aussie and Aussie yen will be our proxies. But to be fair, 
uh, our main focus is not trading the proxies. We will just trade risk directly through um, the uh, ES, uh, ESH, so the futures of the S&P. What else is going on out there? Uh, not a whole lot. We've got uh, Sterling, which is in the middle of nowhere. We've got services PMI out there. That'll be a mover. Uh, we got Dollar Rand, uh, which did a bullish engulfing last week. Everyone knows how I enjoy, or I don't enjoy, but I feel like the money is to be made being short Rand. Uh, we've gone into the reasons a million times. I don't want to rehash uh, and live on the negative side of this. But the market got itself long emerging market currencies here the last three weeks of the year. Uh, now we're in risk off mode plus all of the financial, environmental, and political problems uh, that uh, poor South Africa has to deal with. We like this higher. I don't know how to structure it yet. Um, kind of looking at it to see where and when. Maybe through this pivot at 36, we can start to consider a core long. But uh, just pointing out, bullish engulfing uh, last week. Dollar CAD's not doing anything. We got higher oil, which is good for CAD. We got risk off, which is bad for CAD. And as you can see, CAD has done nothing. Um, what else is out there? Not really too much else to talk about. Our main focus in the currency world is short Aussie. Um, but our main focus trading in general is uh, short uh, S&P minis with conviction if we make a new low uh, and course short at a good average while we're playing around in the middle. Apologies for the first video which basically sucked the duck, no volume. Uh, what else do you expect from uh, an IP Muppet uh, in Switzerland? Anyway, good luck out there people. Make some dough, why not? Um, do the work and then make the dough. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.